Okay, so I'm over here in the sheep pen. We're gonna muck out the sheep shelter, take a bunch of this manure over to our newly discovered mouse miracle garden and see if we can't get some potatoes to grow. All right, I got my wheelbarrow load here. I'm gonna pack this across the yard, go fire up that rototiller, try and work this into the soil, see if we can't grow us some vegetables. Well, the mouse miracle garden's starting to come along. All done in here with the tiller. Just gonna start hoeing up some rows. I think I might get a couple of rows of potatoes in tonight. And then I'm not sure what time it is. It's starting to get dark out here, but uh, get a couple of rows in anyways, and then call it a night. All right, so in the mouse miracle garden, got a grocery bag full of leftover potatoes from last year. So it'd be interesting to see why what happens with this. This is the mouse miracle garden. This is just literally hard clay with some like scrubby grass like never been tilled never been worked up the only like literally the only tillage it's ever had is when the shed was on top and the, the mice were burrowing on underneath the dirt so it'd be really interesting to see i've added a little bit of sheep manure to this worked it up with the tiller gonna throw these potatoes in fingers crossed we actually get some food okay, out of this. so look at this below this a little bit of topsoil and Old mulched up grass we got here. Rock hard clay. Can't get nothing through it. The hoe struggles in there. It's gonna be one hell of an experiment. Oh, sweating. So this quarter was actually broke, I think about 1942 or 1943 when the water well was drilled down. That's the earliest record we have of, of any activity on the land here. And it would have been broke, seeded over to grass. It's been pasture pretty much ever since. Until in 2017, we bought this place and started building a homestead here. So this, this patch of dirt has literally never seen anything other than soil compaction after soil compaction from horses and cattle and you know, you name it. Uh, never been plowed, never been disked, tilled in. Uh, since the quarter was broken literally I mean what is the math on that like 80 years ago uh, no wonder the ground is hard right okay. so in this first row here oh I almost fell over <laughs> in this first row here I was very careful to pick only the best potatoes out of the bag lots of good eyes on them good strong growth planted them a good distance apart in the second row here you'll see things are a little bit more haphazard so the soil's gotten a lot harder here and there's some potatoes that just don't have good eyes or maybe don't have any eyes at all, just hasn't, haven't developed yet. Still wanna throw them in, although it is very dense for it. What that's gonna do, that potato is actually gonna break down and rot and it's, it's gonna add, uh, you know, its own nutrients to the soil and help with soil conditioning. So I got no issue with having a couple of extra potatoes, you know, plant a little bit more densely in this row. So we're gonna go ahead and hill this one in and then uh, that'll probably be a night. It'll be uh, time for a cup of tea. Well, there you have it. Two extra rows of potatoes in. Complete bonus on top of our regular garden. You'll notice I hoed everything right down to the, to the mineral soil, to the clay layer there. Reason for that is it's gonna be really hard for weeds to grow in here to begin with. Now I'm gonna come in tomorrow with a bunch of that straw mulch and lay it back and forth in here. Just create that nice blanket, block out all the sunlight, prevent any photosynthesis from happening. So any weeds that wanna come up that may be still rooted in inside that clay don't stand a chance potatoes on the other hand all day long well i'd say that's enough shenanigans for one night I think it's about 9 30. i can hear the kettle calling my name so shut her down for the night and i'll come back out tomorrow morning and carry on so until tomorrow i hope you have a great night we'll see you in the morning <laughs>